the, the main tip for Lavalier is try and keep it as centered on the body as possible. So hairline on the cheek or here on the center of the chest. Lave, Lavalier, Lavalier. Some people call them lapel mics, yeah. but you know, that's sort of limiting because there are a lot of ways that you can use these microphones. Yeah. And in this video, John from Sennheiser and I are going to help you decide the best solution for you. And we're just gonna walk you quickly through how to install a lav mic on a person. If you're working at a convention or conference where there, there's speaker after speaker that you've been put in charge of miking up, um, it can be awkward. It's an intimate experience, mm -hmm. but it's only weird if you make it weird. Maybe just ask permission. Hey, would you mind if I, you know, put this cable through the shirt rather than running your microphone uh, through buttons and through shirts and everything? I usually just take this, mm -hmm. maybe put it through the collar on a t-shirt like this. Well, the simplest thing to do with the shirt is to actually drop it straight down the top here. Yeah. Bring it out the bottom button and then just pull the cable through the belt line, yep. uh, put the cable back there. Uh, and then, yeah, you bring it down. The, the important thing for labs, especially center chest, is to do this. Have a thumb and pinky, stretch as far as you can, and put it there. And that gives you a rough distance of where you want it to be. So yeah, roughly second button, between second button and third button. If you're doing it with someone who has a, a blouse, or a lady for a blouse who doesn't have buttons, then you're gonna have to get a little bit clever. You don't really wanna pinch the shirt or the blouse, especially like a t-shirt as well, you don't want to pinch it. So you can get magnetic clips. Again, it comes with much higher end Lavalier microphones, kind of a reason to potentially upgrade your Lavalier anyway, much better sound, much better accessories. Um, but even then, if you really need to, there are other places you could, you could stick it. You don't have to do it on the shirt, you can move it around the body if we need to. Uh, but the simplest thing is, yeah, take the cable off, drop the end of the cable down the shirt, or even, down the back of the shirt, depending on where you want to do. It's just for, you know, for a trade show, the idea of you constantly doing someone new, drop it down the shirt, bring it out the bottom button by the waist, and then just run the cable across the waist and tuck it into the trousers yeah. or whatever. And there may be some excess cable there. It's it's probably best to leave a little bit of slack for motion yeah. up here. Uh, would you demonstrate the difference? Here's the microphone by itself. And if I'm pulling on the cable and doing stuff like that, so I'll actually hold it a little bit looser. So you'll hear a sort of a rumbling noise because I'm touching the cable. And if I'm just doing that with the cable, you hear that rustling noise. Then if I do loop it, and you kind of can use a crocodile clip. There is a way to use a crocodile clip, but it becomes a little bit interesting. You could pinch this inside the crocodile clip like that. But then of course you've got to put it on your shirt as well as you've got to make a serious done. So one of the things you could do is just loop it like that, get some electrical tape or a zip tie is even better to get really tight. Uh, and now if I'm pinching that, it's still there, but it'll be, well, I'm just tapping off the table there. It'll be less and that should be pretty much non-existent because that's the main one is this sort of rubbing as it moves up and down your skin. Uh, so that should get rid of that if you do that. So always try and isolate your cable as best you can and as, and as high up as you can. Because when we have the professional uh, high-end ones, the the looping is up here on the clip uh, and the microphone is on the clip itself. Something to consider is that most lav mics are going to be omni mics. So while it may be intuitive to say, oh, you know, this is pointing away from the person, it doesn't really matter if it's an omni mic. So I can like, you know, I can turn this and it's more or less the same, whichever direction yeah, you are. Yeah. There are cardioid mics, which Putting that upside down on a person can make a feedback expression <laughs> a, a, bad, a bad time. This comes up when maybe you're putting it on the collar. Mm. So maybe there isn't a great place to put it on the buttons and you need to go elsewhere. Yeah. So normally you would do it on the inside of the collar so it's hiding just here. But I'll do it on the outside so it's a little bit easier to see. Uh, we'll do that. So it could hide just about there, just inside the collar. And as I said, normally it would be inside and pointing that direction, which I can't do with this clip. Um, now this is fine, it's gonna be a little bit throatier, the noise, You'll, you will hear a difference from what it sounded like here. But then you've got the added problem. So at the moment I'm talking toward the camera, I'm pretty much, I'm turning a little bit into it. So if I, if I straighten up and just talk to the camera, I'm straight, so you'll get that sound. And if I talk to you, I'm now talking away from the microphone, it's gonna be a lower volume. If I had someone on this side and I talk to them, one, in this case, I'm going to sort of rub my, my uh, stubble against it, but at the same time, you're going to get a volume increase going over here. So you've got to be careful with, with placement. I mean, that's why 
you know, news reporters will have potentially two Lavaliers on if they're wearing a jacket, uh, one here, one here, for that going backwards and forwards. Um, but it's 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 again, is it is it something that's a problem? So if if, it, if you and I were doing this interview properly, and I could put the microphone on here like that, and then I can talk to you like this. It's on this side. It's always directional. We know that there might be a little bit of movement me back towards the camera, so that's a little bit of a change in volume going on. But realistically, I'm talking to you most of the time, so it, it sits there quite fine, uh, and we shouldn't have to worry about it too much, apart from the slight change in tonality, because now we're not on my chest, we're on my throat. There's a different tonality there. But, you know, that's the thing. That's post-production. You're going to EQ it if you get the chance to post. If it's going live, who cares? This is all assuming that the microphone can be seen. But if someone is going to try to do this for film mm -hmm. or for musical theater or yeah. something like that, it really takes you out of the experience as a viewer if you, if you see a microphone mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. Whereas on the news, you expect microphones to be in place. Um, if you want to truly hide the mic, what are some good places? Well, if you want to truly hide the mic, you've got a few choices. So let me actually just show you with this microphone, even though this is large, you would normally use a much thinner microphone than this, uh, roughly about three millimeters. So in fact, the microphone would be thinner than this cable. Uh, and you'll find it in theater world, a lot of performers, especially if they're wearing wigs, will have the microphone like this, literally just hanging at the top of their um, hairline. Um, Again, if I just leave this here very carefully and you listen to this microphone, you will now find it's quite nasal in sound because obviously it's up here in my head. Um, there will also be flesh colored microphones as well, so you, you can hide it better. Uh, another way to hide it could be potentially, depending on how thin it is, to have it looped across the ear, not as a, he as a head mic, but literally taped to put someone's head. On musical theater, you can do that, they're far enough away that if you have a flesh colored microphone, it's thin enough, you can tape it to someone's face or even glue it to someone's face and have it looped behind their ear. So then you, the good point about it being here is you are beside the mouth, you're getting that resonance. If you're doing a video shoot inside a car, for example, stick it up on the dashboard. So there's, let's say that's the, the A pillar there where the, the, the door pillar comes in. You can have it there, uh, the person's driving, talking. It's not the ideal distance, but I mean, you tell me, does this sound okay? Could we use it? You know, there's, there's, there's loads of places we can hide Lavalliers and it is realistically as far as your imagination can take you. Um, I've even heard of some of these being stuck inside um, props. So if someone's chilling out on a sofa in a, in a movie scene or a TV scene and it's been hidden inside a prop, it's not used as the actual audio you as the uh, audience would hear. It's used as scratch audio, something that can be replaced in post-production with uh, ADR uh, and things like that. It all comes down to what type of lav you have, how big it is, how clunky it is. Is it a thin one? Is it flesh colored? Is it paintable? Uh, is it all of these things, um, are you willing to use it for just scratch audio or does it have to be critical audio? So there are many things you can do. I've, I've even seen on a t-shirt, I've even seen the microphone hidden here right on the collarbone. And it just sits there on the collarbone because on a t-shirt you're still under the t-shirt, but it can almost just peek over the top of the t-shirt. Um, it, it comes down to how adventurous you want to be. Keep it as centered as possible, as you've just seen. The, the main tip for Lavalier is try and keep it as centered on the body as possible. So hairline on the cheek or here on the center of the chest. It, it, it just helps for that left-right balance. It stops people having to be worried about you turning left to right constantly. Uh, and, and it doing that volume change and that frequency change. Some situations call for a lav and that's the best choice. There are also other options available such as shotguns. So watch the next video that's on your screen now to decide which one is right for you.